Hey guys, I hope that you are flourishing today. I just want to quickly demonstrate how to do some basic searches, which primarily means how to create a search term. Uh, so the way that you do that is you're going to click on a term that you're wanting to search for. So let's search for badal, this word that means to separate in Genesis 1. Uh, we're going to click on the feature that we want to search for. Uh, and you can actually use multiple features if you want to. That's for another video. We're going to hit create search term. And the first thing that you might uh, be interested in is how this word is used elsewhere in this chapter. So what you can actually do is make sure that highlight terms is enabled and you'll see how uh, they all turn orange or whatever color you select. Um, so here we've got in verse six and seven uh, and then also down here in verse 18 and verse 14. But more often you wanna find where else the term occurs in the Hebrew Bible. So for that, you're going to hit the search button once you've got a search term. And now we see our results uh, for the whole Hebrew Bible. Um, now, if you're anything like me, uh, seeing these results is useful, but it's a lot more useful when you've got English alongside. And the texts that are shown in these search results are the same texts that are displayed in the regular view. So if we enable the NET, this parallel English translation, if we do the search again, you'll see that we now have uh, an English in parallel. So that's how you do a search. Let's try that one more time, except uh, let's remove this search term. And let's look for uh, this classic word to home, this um, primeval ocean as it's translated here, um, the deep, you probably know it as. And here we see uh, 35 uses um, and there they are laid out for you. I hope that's useful.